all right, I'm out of my wilderness recon. I'm the only boat out here pretty much, maybe one other boat. It's, conditions aren't that, that good, but this boat, thank God, is just, it's an ingenious design. I just, I'm very thankful to own one. Um, my goal someday is to get a, a second one, have one with a motor and one with just a pedal drive. So depending on the conditions, I won't have to start switching stuff up. There we go, fish on. It's not a big fluke, but I'll take it. Beautiful, all right. Yeah, so this boat is just incredible. It's uh, cuts through the waves and it has like a pontoon back to it, stern area. I mean, it's one of the most, it's, it's more stable than some of the larger fishing vessels I've been on. In fact, it's more stable than some of the 20 foot boats I've actually been on. And I know that sounds crazy because it's a kayak, but it has nothing to do with the beam being wide. It, it, it does have everything to do with the beam being wide. It's a 38 inch beam, but it's just a superior design. I don't know what, I, I give them great, a great amount of credit whoever designed this, this particular kayak. It's insane. It's just unbelievable. But um, yeah, I'm going side, sideways into a chop here, which is not wise. And I'm confident because of the design. I've been out here many times, 40, 50 foot boats flying by me. And as long as you know how to navigate waters, you're not gonna go sideways into a 50 foot boat's wake, but if you know how to go forward towards it, nice and easy, and then back away from the second one coming at you, I mean, it's really an incredible design. I'm very impressed with it. And the pedal design is like, I mean, Wilderness isn't the only one with a pedal drive, but I'm very impressed with it. And it's hands-free hands fishing, I mean. I literally go around the bait, uh, the, the fish, and I um, circle them. Irrespective of the way the tide's coming. Here we go, another fish. He's playing games. It's a fluke. I gotta get this hook right. It's just a bad angle. Hell. I mean, not, not to boast or anything, but I'm up to 300. Um, 300 and uh, 330 fish, so. 10 keepers, some nice big, a couple of big door mats. Not big door mats, but 25 inch mini door mats. And I owe it a lot, I mean, most of it to this kayak. I mean, for this season, it's tough, it's a tough pick from the shoreline in New York, so. Not like the old days where you're getting 12 pounders from shore, eight pounders, I've done that too, but. Just, Hoping for one more fluke would be nice. Not one more, but I mean, in this taping segment, here we go. Oh, that was a sea robin. Felt its back, they have like a very, they have an armor plated back. Yeah, it's kind of bad conditions to be out here today, but you know what? I'm confident on this thing. I wouldn't try it on any other kayak. I just wouldn't no offense to any of the other companies, but I really wouldn't feel confident. This thing is more like a boat. And again, it's more stable than some of the row boats I've been on. Some of the 19 foot boats, 18 foot vessels I've been on. It's really that stable and it's incredible. Yeah, it's just, I'm on some body of tiny little fluke. I'm just letting it play, but it's not. I gotta get over some better ground here. One more drop on this one. Got some stuff on here too, probably. 
Yeah, let us see. All right, one more drop. Yeah, so anyone considering the Recon 120, um, is it is it the fastest kayak out there? I'll be honest with you, it's pretty fast. I move on this thing, so I mean, so anyone who's complaining about that is not giving you accurate information. It moves pretty good, it moves very good actually for its width, and it has um pretty good tracking. See, I'm just not, they're not, this small fluke, they're just not hitting it hard enough. All the big ones are already at the reefs, but um... Yeah, I would definitely, um, I would consider it. I'm not, I don't work for Wilderness, I don't know them from Adam, but um... I had one, not issue with it, I had to just get an extra little thing for it, I called them up and they were very helpful got back to me right away on the email and they sent they sent it to me the next day it was some minor issue I don't even so minor I don't even remember it so I think it was a bolt I needed extra a nut or a bolt uh, fell fell off the seat thing and I fixed it it's nothing major so if that's the worst thing that's gonna happen with a kayak a piece of plastic and still get this type of performance out of it I mean, I'm an accomplished fisherman. I'm pretty well known around here. I mean, amongst people that fish in this area. And um, I wouldn't fish off of something that's dangerous. It's not worth my life. I got children and um, Again, I'm not advocating buying a kayak. If you're not, if you don't know how to swim, you should not own a kayak until you learn how to swim. So if you don't know how to swim, I, I, do not get a kayak until you learn how to swim. Everyone can learn how to swim. It's not a big deal. I'm not trying to be a downtrodden and condescending. I, I, listen, everyone had to learn. I had to learn how to swim myself at one point in life. So. When I was, uh, well, I learned when I was a kid, but the thing is, you need to know how to swim before you want a kayak. Do not buy a kayak. And do not buy a kayak just because I say so, because if, if you don't know how to swim, I don't want to see anybody get hurt. But if you know how to swim and you fish in relatively safe waters, I wouldn't take a kayak off of, around here there's been five or six shark attacks in 2022 so i'll be honest with you there's they're following white sharks off the beach and i've got inside information about that and they're not monsters but there's some of them are eight or ten feet so you know i'm not going to take this off of the ocean although i have confidence that i would be able to i don't want to risk flipping it on the way in with these crazy waves when you come into the, the beach it's far more dangerous than if you're launching from a, an inlet or you know some estuary so but the bottom line, I would feel confident taking this off sh offshore. I mean, I feel more confident offshore than in certain other situations that are, you know, treacherous or whatever, rivers and stuff like that. So th this kayak is is everything and then some. And my dream someday is to get a duplicate. You got like the exact same color, midnight. I'm gonna put a state-of-the-art motor on that one. And um, a really good motor on that one. And depending on what I want to do for that, if I pet if I pedaled and or paddled, I paddle and pedal at the same time on this thing. It's a great workout. And I wanna take out and I'm taught you from the day before doing that. Maybe the next day I'll take the one out with the motor rather than switch it 